Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about affiliate marketing and specifically with Amazon Associates. I'm gonna show you how to get into the Amazon Associates program, uh, what you need to know, what you need to do, the strategies to grow your Amazon Associates affiliate marketing business. So I've had a lot of folks ask me through Instagram about affiliate marketing and how they can get started and kind of like the easiest beginner way to get in with no money um, with nothing more than just an Instagram account. So I'm gonna share this with you today. Before we go into my computer and start looking at what you need to do to sign up for Amazon Associates and become an affiliate, I want to talk to you about what affiliate marketing is. Affiliate marketing is simply the practice of promoting someone else's product, service, or idea for a commission once you sell that product, service, or idea. Whenever you sign up for an affiliate program, you are given an identifying link that is dedicated specifically to you. So that when someone clicks on that link, a cookie is placed on their computer or their smartphone. And then when they buy that product, service, idea, or item, then you receive credit and that seller pays you out when the agreed upon time has come to cash out affiliate commissions. Simply, you're promoting someone else's stuff to get paid for that stuff when someone buys through it. So we're going to look at Amazon Associates now. We're gonna jump into my computer browser. All right, so we're here on amazon.com. This is just the homepage for amazon.com. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom, and in this blue bar, it's um, not quite the footer, but in this, this bar right here above the footer, we're gonna see become an affiliate. You can kind of see this, um, this link here, become an affiliate. And so when you click on that, whenever you're there, you're just gonna click sign up. You're gonna go through the application process. It's rather seamless. And whenever you get to the point, whenever it's asking for a website, you do not have to have a website, but they want to know how you're going to be promoting. So you can put something in there like instagram.com or youtube.com. These are um, just basic websites that you can throw out there. They just want something to know that you're serious about this and that you have some sort of avenue that you will be promoting uh, Amazon products to buyers. So we're going to click on this next tab. This is my dashboard. So uh, you can kind of see this graph right here. These are clicks and sales that I have made over the past 30 days. Uh, it's not a tremendous amount of money. You can kind of see the clicks, which are the gray bars, and then the green, which are the sales. And if you hover over, you can kind of see it's it's not a great amount of money. It's uh, $2.93 here and $1.07 there and $0.48 cents there. These are just little trickling amounts of money. This is one simple avenue of many avenues of affiliate marketing that I am um, engaged in. And so this is just kind of like one tiny little stream of money that comes in. To be totally honest with you, when this money comes in and hits my account, I don't even spend it. I just divert it to an investment account and I let it grow there so that my money keeps growing more money. I use it more as seed money than anything. So that's what I do with my affiliate commissions from Amazon. On this side, you can see that uh, over the past 30 days, we sold 13 items that actually shipped. Total earnings from those 30 13 items is $9.16. Total ordered items are 17, so we're still waiting for four to actually ship. Clicks, 189 clicks, so we're converting at 8.99%, almost 9%. The goal is to get the attention on your links and for people to click through. Uh, if you go up here to reports, and it will take you to this page here, where it will show you the report. I have mine set for just this month, and you can see uh, the red line is how many clicks I got. The gold line is how many items were ordered. And the green bars are the earnings. So you see that $2.93 there. You see $1.80 there. You see $1.64 there um, for yesterday. 21 clicks, three ordered items, got $1.64. If you scroll down to the bottom here, you can see on this um, chart or this table what we're actually selling. So by looking at this information, you can decide what would be um, something to place more heavy importance on. You know, perhaps people are buying things that you're not even promoting. Here is the cool thing about how Amazon Associates works when it comes to affiliate marketing. When a person clicks through your link, there is a cookie placed on that person's computer or smartphone. 
It's a 24-hour cookie, which means as long as they buy your item or any other item on Amazon from that device within 24 hours, you get a commission. If you're promoting, let's say, um, these AirPods, these generic AirPods, uh, let's say that they're $10 and you get a 4% commission. So you're going to get 40 cents for these. But someone clicked through the link and decided not to buy these. Instead, they bought a $4,000 TV to have it sent to their home. You get commission for that $4,000 TV. Or if they bought $200 worth of groceries or whatever they buy within 24 hours of clicking your link, you get that commission. Here's the other cool thing is let's say that they click on the link to these $10 bogus AirPods and they put it in their shopping cart on Amazon, but they don't buy, but they put it in their shopping cart. It's something like 28 or 30 days. As long as they click checkout and buy it within 28 or 30 days, you get the commission to it. So it's a 24 hour cookie placed on their device, their computer or their phone for them to actually buy the item. However, if they put it in their cart and they leave it for a couple days or they leave it for a week or they leave it for three weeks and then they purchase it, you still get that commission. I'm gonna show you in a few minutes how to actually get the links to put them wherever you wanna put them. But first I wanna talk about how you can begin promoting these items that you wanna promote uh, with no money. Now, a lot of people are gonna tell you that you need a YouTube channel, which is great. That's where I get a lot of my uh, traffic from. Other people are gonna tell you that you need a website to promote these products, and those are great too. Let's say you run a blog about um, DJ equipment, and you're always writing things about DJ equipment, and you interview DJs, and they come on, and they, they guest post on your blog, and they write things about DJing, I guess. You can promote products through your website that link back to Amazon and make money that way. That's very time intensive and it costs money to have a website to run it. You kind of have to sort of know what you're doing. I'm going to show you the way that I use it outside of my YouTube channel. This is not my bread and butter. This is not money that I absolutely have to have to live. And so I'm very easy going about it. It's just a passive income on the side. Very easy. What I use is my Instagram account. Now I have... 12,000 followers, but only about two to 3,000 are actually active with me and, and have any sort of um, dealing with me. Uh, but you see this link tree right here. This is my personal slash business account where, you know, I, I sell books on Amazon. I sell used books on Amazon. I am an Amazon seller. And so I promote within my link in the bio, I promote products on Amazon that I believe in that I use and that I recommend to people. And then when, when people go through and they click on those things to help their own Amazon business, I get a commission from them. Let's take a look over here. Let's say you want to start your own Instagram account, but you don't want to be, you know, your face out there and people seeing you and you talking to them. It's a very simple runaround on this. I have a few different Instagram accounts where I do this. Nobody knows that it's me as the admin. Nobody knows anything about it other than it's a niche Instagram account that provides great value, beautiful pictures. I'm gonna show you one account that is actually not mine, but uh, is a very good account to start something like this. That is woodworking underscore lovers. I do enjoy woodworking. And so uh, this is kind of something that popped right into my mind. Uh, they have this nice little logo, carpentry woodworking. They have no Instagram stories going out. They just have this one uh, Instagram archive, a story archive, and then they have a bunch of posts. And most of these posts are all reshares of another person's post. So this person, whoever is the admin and running woodworking underscore lovers, does not even create any of their own content. They are simply sharing other people's content to their page to create a beautiful aesthetic and to provide value to the um, the followers and to get engagement. You can see 2,000 likes on this first one, 21,000 on this second, 4,000 on this, 6,000, 31,000, 85,000. They're getting a tremendous amount of likes and engagement on each one of these posts. Right here in the bio, they have a link for a gearbombard.com slash product. It's a terribly ugly URL, 
but we'll click on that and we will see what it brings up. So it's an angularized ruler made of aluminum. This is something I'm assuming is for woodworking. And yeah, perfect. It, it cuts out unique shapes of wood. All right. Um, it's $27.99. And let's say that their affiliate commission is five bucks on this thing. You know, for every one they sell, they get $5. And we're going to look at how many followers they have. They have 470,000 followers. Let's run just some like very conservative numbers on this. So out of 470,000, we're going to say that 1% per week, okay, 1% per week actually click on that link, which I can tell you this because of the way I run my Instagram accounts. Uh, it's definitely more than 1%. But we're just going to say 1% per week clicks on that. So times 0 0.01, 4,700 people click on that per week every seven days. Now we're going to say that let's say 1% of that 4,700 actually buys, which is still a relatively low number. Um, something like this for a passion project kind of um, page, this niche page that number would definitely be higher than 1% of 1%. So, but we're just gonna say 1% of 4,700 would be 47 people per week buying this item, this angularized ruler. And for our example purposes, we're gonna say that they get $5 out of every $28 sale, which I feel like is a bit low for that specific niche product. We'll say times five. So they would be making roughly $235 every single week on the very conservative low estimate uh, times four weeks a month. That's almost a thousand bucks times 12 months. We're looking at 11,280 bucks that they're making simply by running an Instagram page with one affiliate offer. What I've done is a little bit different. If you go into my account here and you click on my link tree, I have different links. You have this um, offer for payability, receive 150 bucks when you sign up with payability. You've got things, here's um, the EOYO 1D Bluetooth scanner from Amazon. Uh, that is an affiliate link. That's something that converts very well. It's something that I use. I always have one within. An arm's reach, I always use my EOYO 1D scanner. Uh, and then down here at the bottom, you see my YouTube channel, then you see how to clean Goodwill shoes for resale video, and then you see my kit of shoe cleaning supplies. Check it out, okay? So this right here is a link to kit.com. And I will show you, I'm gonna just gonna click on that right now and show you what my kit is. Kit.com is basically a website that links all of your kit, whether that be photography gear or video gear or DJing equipment, or in my case, shoe cleaning supplies, into a nice collected web page. It's free to use. And then uh, each one of these are Amazon affiliate offers. So someone can come in here and they can say, oh wow, this is an awesome kit. Um, I need this uh, pill fuzz eater. And so they click on that and it brings them over here to Amazon where they can buy it. By having enough engagement and eyeballs on my Instagram account and by providing content daily, it attracts people in and I provide them with a solution to the problems that they may be having. So you're providing value. This woodworking underscore lovers could actually turn a lot more profit out especially with the amount of followers they have, if they had a link tree and had a couple different links within it. One going to this angularized ruler and another going to their kit of woodworking tools, which tend to be expensive. You know, they can become an affiliate for Amazon as well as Lowe's and Home Depot, as well as Walmart. They can link all these different tools under there and be absolutely crushing it with 470,000 followers. So, this is just one way to go into making money online, making money on Instagram that a lot of people overlook. 
my thinking is this. If you're going to spend time on Instagram anyways, you might as well make some money off of it. Uh, and it's very simple to do. Whatever your niche is, whether it's cooking or design or woodworking or whatever it may be, uh, it would be very, very wise to put some affiliate offers in there as you provide content and value for your audience. We're going to jump back over here to the Amazon Associates dashboard, and I'm just going to show you how we can go about getting a link to something that we want to promote. So in this case, we will just put woodworking, since that's what we're looking at, um, saw, woodworking saw, and we'll just click go and see what comes up. All right, so here we have a soizan Japanese pool saw, handsaw, uh, for $36.99, 4% of that is not a tremendous amount of money, maybe a dollar fifty or so, a dollar forty-five. You go on this side, you don't click the get link, but rather you click the drop down. It opens this up and you just shorten your URL. You just highlight that, right click copy, and you paste that wherever you're gonna paste it. Um, in my case, it would be in my link tree. And I might say in there, awesome woodworking handsaw, get yours today, only $36.99. And people that are into woodworking know what this is about, if this is something that they're interested in, they click on it, they buy it, you've connected someone with a product that they might actually be needing to complete a project. And you have basically stepped in and taken out the legwork for someone and you receive a commission because of that. Like I said, starting out, it's not a lot of money and you sort of have to have some, some kind of engagement, some kind of following. But if you operate on Instagram and you're tactful, you can start these little niche Instagram accounts and then grow them. And as you grow them, even with 2000, one of my accounts only has 2000 followers that are very engaged and I make commissions off of that Instagram account. You don't need a ton of people to be following you to get this done. Just to start that little trickle of income from affiliate marketing. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or if you are stuck at any point, feel free, please don't hesitate to drop a comment below or DM me on Instagram at Nicholas underscore Woolsey. I look forward to answering your questions and I look forward to your success and seeing what you accomplish with this information that I've provided to you today. With all of that being said, thank you for watching. I hope I've earned your thumbs up today and I will see you on the next video.